Howdy everybody and welcome in. Boy, it has been a hot minute since we've been here. Um, welcome back in, of course. Um, I missed you all. Um, we will be jumping back into Paper Mario today. Um, hoping to make some progress. Um, to fill you all in, um, since last we spoke, um, I got a promotion at work. Uh, so I am a manager now at my movie theater, which means 45 hour days, or not days, Jesus, 45 hour weeks of work. Um, on top of that, my son Thomas, who if you're regular, you see him pop in and out every now and again, um, is starting school in about a week, um, which is nuts. It's nuts how fast the summer went. Um since uh <coughs> oh excuse me um since then we also uh my wife and i started door dashing um, trying to save up a little money on the side uh for some activities on that um my van broke down um so we're still waiting on that um uh, but yeah it's just been a wild wild month Every time I planned to jump on, something would come up, and boy, it was, it was crazy. It was crazy, but we are back. Um, in case you guys aren't part of my Discord, um, I am putting an invite in the chat right now. Ka-chow. Um, on August 31st, which is... 13 days away, uh, we will be doing a drawing. Uh, first place will be getting, uh, or, you know, the first place for the drawing will be getting a $50 Steam card. Second and third place is going to be getting Wolverine and Deadpool keychains, which, I mean, since I've been on, uh, or since I haven't been on, uh, that movie has come out, has been a big hit. I've seen it twice, it was great. Uh, I re strongly recommend seeing it if you haven't. Um, but yeah, if you choose to enter for to be considered for the drawing, you have to join the Discord and you have to say something in the giveaway tab. Um, just so I know that you are interested. Just so, yeah. And yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. And yeah. From last we left off, uh, we were doing a bunch of fetch quests on a train. We were going to, like, gl not Glitzville. We were going somewhere posh, though. And then uh, I believe the train got taken over by a little gremlin monster things. Yeah. So we got to save those little monsters are inside the train now. Let's get them. Hey. Get off my toad, babe. Oh, they have the poor conductor. How horrible. Please help him. Don't worry, we got this. Maybe we got this. I don't know if that actually helped. But... Ah! Ah, oh, okay. Ah, Detective Mario, you saved us again? Hey, I must have been taken by those black things while I was sleeping. Scary. Where in the world did they come from? Come in from? Wait, they still have our other paying passengers. Oh, those poor souls. Oh, sounds like a not my problem. Uh... Oh, yeah. Um... We've got the ability where we can jump up on that pipe now. Oh. Somehow. Ciao. I remember now. 
That's a lot of bitches. Get off, you parasites. What is this gnarly thing? Wow! Gonzalez, look! It's got the other passengers! I'm sure they're fine. Don't worry about it. This, uh, this uh, stage. Right, so. Okay, so we got three of them here, so. Oh, balls. Let's swap to Gumbella. Ouch! Yeah, eat a dick. Boom. That's a smart. That's a smart gather decorate this huge monster. Max HP 55. One. It attacks with weird tentacles. But won't do any damage to the mid body unless we defeat the tentacles first. That's simple biology. The tentacles will regenerate, but use that time to deal a ton of damage, okay? May also take other forms that expose more of its gross body, but lose its and boost its attack power. We'll just hurry up and beat this thing down so we can save those trapped passengers. Oh, I don't care. Nailed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to take me a hot minute to remember exactly how to play this. feeling before. Which um, uh, is all enemies in circle with the star. I don't think we've done that. Oh, 
fuck? That was really weird, but okay. Yahoo, motherfucker. Boom. Can take it. It's my choice. I don't really remember any of the voices I gave any of these passengers, so my apologies for continuity's sake. Thank you. Bye, it's like you all did. All you did for three days was save us. How can we ever thank you? Oh, thumb in the booper? Everyone's safe now. It's all thanks to you. Oh, thank you, thank you. You saved my life. No, stupid tongue of man. You saved my life. So, I'm pretty sure he had a French, like, mm -hmm. So, did you all know? This touching fellow has been the famous Luigi all along. <laughs> we'll soon arrive at Pashley Heights. Ladies and gentlemen, please prepare to disembark. Yeah, Pashley Heights. That's right, we were coming. So posh. Bing bong, bing bong. Attention, all passengers. Now arriving at Poshley Heights. Please watch your step and be sure to take all your belongings with you. And thank you for choosing the XS Express. We're finally here, Mario. Let's hurry up and find the Poshley Sanctum that the professor was talking about. It would be great if we went out and it was just there and they're like, sure, have it. But, you know, that would be too easy. <sighs> I do believe the exit was up by uh, number one. Yeah, right here. We have a bit of time until the next departure. Uh, okay. You wouldn't happen to have a train set for sale, would you? A gold one, perhaps? Now that we're here, we'll purchase that birthday present for little bub. I already got him an autograph. Hey, mister, I'm getting a train set. The coolest one ever invented. I could just have them buy me a real train, but maybe I'll save that for next year. Maybe I'll save that for next year. Maybe I'm a spoiled little cunt. Uh, sorry, what? I, 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 I didn't say anything. Aww. We got a monster in their pool. Man. Let's switch back to Yoshi. Do you love me some Yoshi? <laughs> the business people I'm waiting for haven't arrived yet, so I may do some sightseeing at Pashley Sanctum. On the expense account, of course. As if you have to ask by now. No, that seems pretty standard for you, you cheap bastard. Welcome to my vacation home, my alluring angels in over us. So, have you already found my gold ring? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I hadn't quite given that back yet, did I? Yes, that is definitely the ring I lost. Thank you, you glorious creature. I knew you would find it without fail. It is merely a trifle, but please, take this as my earnest thanks. Ah, oh, thanks. And farewell. Please, get the fuck out of my house. Nice. 
Is this some Mario twins? Ba -da 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 -da. I said, do you want ice cream cones? They both say yes. They look so goddamn like the same person. I had heard Parshley Heights was a quiet place, but there are lots of tourists, eh? Maybe I should just open up a store selling Shiver City souvenirs. Yeah, maybe so. Welcome to you. Welcome to you. How do you like to buy some high quality fresh pasta as a souvenir? One package costs 50 coins. How about it? Sure. Package for high quality fresh pasta. Yeah, no. It's the sisters. We are the Wandering Girls, the Traveling Sisters 3. We're staying in that luxury hotel. Pashi Heights is a place for the riches to the rich, eh? We're thinking of going to see the Pashi Sanctum next. Oh, you do that. I don't care. Oh, a star piece. How a fucking fantastic. I guess it's sort of fun to live here. But I can't eat snow cones, or make a little snowman, or go ice skating. Or any of the stuff I did in Shiver City, eh? Don't know what you get till it's gone. It's a lovely house, eh? You sure take your time to soak in all its majesty? I built it with even the smallest details in mind, making every nook special. Not only the interior, but the facade as well. Yeah, look around outside, do. Oh, I don't care. Or maybe I do. No, I don't. I was like, okay, is that an ad that, like, I'm not good enough to sleep at the hotel, but I can sleep in their bushes? Bonjour, Monsieur de la Moustache. Isn't the last at the reception desk magnificent? I shall stay here every night until her hat is mine. I shall not tire. Welcome, sir. This is the Royal Pashley Park Hotel Tower. We promise a comfortable stay in the lap of luxury, the pinnacle of poshness. Room for the night costs a mere 30 coins. Would you like to stay? Yeah, sure. We appreciate you staying with us, sir. We have prepared the penthouse on the top floor for you. I trust it will be to your liking. Please make yourself at home. Oh, don't tell me that, or I'll uh, shit on the sheets. Sheet on the sheets. So, uh, Mario, what's up? Are you still here? Uh, can I not Ooh, try the drawers? Anything? Nothing? Ugh. Fine. Whatever, I don't care. Did he sleep well, sir? We have set out a gourmet meal prepared by the famous chef Zesty on the table. Were you satisfied with our service, sir? Most excellent. We we'll look forward to your next visit. Oh, I'm going to get the food. The omelette meal. Mm. Yeah, we'll toss that. I don't want it. And of course, it's going to be locked up. I may not look like it, but I get pretty stressed out, like really bad. Huh? But walking barefoot on the grass like this makes me feel much better. You betcha. Can you join me, guy? 
People ask me if I get tired of walking the same route every day. And I say, no way, Jose, because it's a little bit different every day, you know. I'm not the same as I was yesterday. Neither are you. Even the town changes. And you'll never see another day just like today. So treat each day like it is unique. Hey there. Posh, I had some shirt nice and warm, huh? Yeah, I really dig it here. Good places make me sneeze. Oh, I'm dying. Pashley Sanctum is a rather famous building, huh? And the painting inside isn't the only gorgeous thing. So is the building. I can just stare at it all day. You betcha. Oh, you are a little crazy, aren't you? Heck yeah. How many does that make? Uh, seven. Okay. So yeah, when I go back, I can definitely upgrade some people. Gun traveling. Same to manager. No way. That stinks. What now? Oh, this is my dear Luigi. What are you doing at my doorstep, young fellow? Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. Whoa, you live here? You, so you're the sector manager? Dude, I thought you were a detective. Well, yes. That is more like a hobby of mine, if the truth must be told. But enough chatter, huh? Well, shall we go inside? I picked that with my head. But enough chatter, huh? Oh, it's those two bitches in the damn yes. <laughs> You're one step too late. We have, we'll have the crystal star. Hey, don't leave without me. Oh, crud. We're too late. We got to go after them. Just a second there, Luigi. Exactly what is going on here? Speak quickly. Uh -huh. Hmm, yes, quite rudimentary. The palms of your hands are quite beautiful. So you are looking for the crystal star in this symptom. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, very interesting. Well, no cause for worry. The crystal star is safe. Yes, they're quite safe indeed. The stone that our rude friend stole was fortunately a red herring. Epic. The real one is hidden somewhere in the sanctum to prevent such a theft. However, as to the location of the re crystal star, well, as like the manager, I am, of course, prohibited from telling anyone. However, I don't know where it is. Of that, you can be more certain. Yes, indeed. Besides, I am sure a junior detective like yourself could find it on your own. Ho -ho. Now, uh, Luigi, put to use all of the razor sharp sleuthing skills I have taught you. Make me proud. Oh, is it going to be behind the curtain? Oh, I can jump up to that, uh, jump up to that pipe after I double check things. Sure, nothing's over here. There is. Good job. Five lightning damage. Yeah, we'll toss it. Super mushroom, I suppose. Oh, fuck. Oh, hawk. Well, how's everybody doing? Hoping you're all having a 
good one. So, like I said, going really well here. I'm just busy as hell. So, glad to have an evening where I can spend with you guys. Press Y to play. The mystery is that it's going to remain a mystery because I don't want to ha haunt it. That's a dark bow. Purple just looks so wrong. These bows are so creepy. 850. That's HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary bows otherwise. So just attack it like a normal bow before it, before it turns invisible. Oh, uh, okay. XP, so three per. Honestly, isn't too bad. Back to the charm, increase your coins three four. what she said. Yeah, I, mean, I think if we take a minute or two and fight these guys, we can uh, get a level up or something. So that's what we're going to do. That's just what we'll do, smart guy. Take your milk home to mama. Good chat.
by adding hugeness. Ooh, I got something huge for you can add. Thank you, really, really big man. We've all been touched by your bigness. It's a good old Rocco's Modern Life reference there. Yeah, we'll take it. Ah, oh, that son of a bitch is a visible. Oh, jokes on you, bitch. up there all you want, I'll still crush your fucking brains. Yeah, there's enough here. We can level up. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I feel like I was trying to earn something badge-wise, so, you know, if not, no biggie, but that's what we're gonna do. Okay. B 
plus items. Maybe not. I maybe I need to just go and watch my uh, watch my old episodes. Find out what I was trying to accomplish. Oh. I'll just do the HP plus for now. Um, before I try to get that star, I'm going to see if there's anything up here. There's an L badge up there. I'm assuming to make us look like Luigi. Same way I've been looking like Wario most of the game. Which again, I'm going to double down. I would kill for a Paper Wario game. I think that would kick ass. Change Mario's close into Luigi's. Yeah, so it's like... Because the dude is uh, calling me... Uh, Whoa! There's fucking Waluigi's clothes! Oh shit! Wario and Waluigi's clothes make Waluigi's. That kicks ass! Oh, hell yes. Hell yes. That's a shine block. Yeah, I know. I know what it is, honey. See, I just assumed putting on the Luigi badge would have just turned the Wario badge off, but I will fucking take it. Next party member invisible warding off against X. Oh, it's just a regular item. Yeah, I don't care. We've got a crystal star. Star power is now seven, and Mario learned the special move Showstopper. This isn't just a trick. I actually got it. Mario found the six crystal star hidden craftily in the Poshley Head Sanctum. Now only one crystal star remains. But our hero still does not know where Princess Peach is being held. Where could the last crystal star be? And where is Princess Peach being held? Helping this crystal star might yield answers. Mario and friends returned in Pennington.
Hmm. So that is where it was. Oh, it, it, nothing. Nothing! It, just talking to my brain. Uh, old genius is doing. Congratulations, Luigi. Wow, Luigi. You have found a real crystal star. So please, feel free to take it. I will just put another fake one over here. Well, traveling with you has been rather hectic, but I do admit, rather fun as well. I am sure you still have a long road ahead, Luigi, but do not give up. Let's make tracks for a robot. Fucking party. <laughs> what is the matter with you idiots? Calling for, for a fake... Falling for a fake crystal star. That's asinine. Sorry, dude. I mean, sir. So let me guess. This means Mario managed to get the real crystal star. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, maybe? Uh, this mustached menace has nearly every crystal star now. They were mine. I think I'd better alter my plan a bit. Before you do, Sir Gratis, I think I'd better tell you something. What is it, fool? What? Are you sure? Speak! No joke, dude. I mean, uh, affirmative, sir, dude. That is, uh, I'm positive, sir. <sighs> Treason! Strange. Isn't it about time for Tech to call me in? Maybe he's busy. <sighs> he found out about Tech. Oh, here we go. Oh, all of my beautiful hand lotions. You know, uh, for... For Mario! <laughs> Yahoo! Bum, 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 bum. Hello, Tech! What do you want today? Princess Peach, I have... I have reached a conclusion. A conclusion? I have struggled with whether to obey orders or to speak with you, to you, and I have also struggled with what I should believe. Tech, you don't sound right. What's going on with you? Princess Peach, please escape from this place as quickly as possible. Escape? Tech, what do you mean by that? I mean, why all of a sudden? The data you procured has been analyzed and something terrible is... No, I will not say, but I have found out everything about Sir Grotus' plans. Grotus' plans? You mean about conquering the world? Yes, and among those plans was the reason why you are being held here, according to the data. <gasps> no! No way! That's impossible! I don't believe it! Yes, everything is true. That is why you must escape from here as fast as possible. But how can I do that, Tech? I mean, I don't even have the slightest idea where I am. I will not hide anything anymore. No, not from you. I will tell you everything. The place where you are currently imprisoned. This is the moon. The moon? The moon? You mean the moon that hangs up in the sky at night? That moon? That is correct. But that's unbelievable. How in the world am I supposed to escape? There is a way. You can escape, but you must follow my instructions exactly. But Tech, won't they know that you helped me? Won't you get in trouble? That is inconsequential. I would like you to be safe. That is all that matters. Tech! I am the base's computer. No one will know of your escape if I keep silent. Please, do not worry about me. Escape. Escape as quickly as possible. Okay, Tech. But I must inform Mario about all of this before I go. This is no longer just my problem. Understood. 
Oh. Oh, clack my keys. Hold it right there, Princess Peach. Hey, you. Tech, you miserable machine. We all know what you're up to, traitor. Sir Grotus, I... In my most paranoid moments, I never thought my own computer would betray me. Well, it doesn't really matter in the end, I suppose. Especially since it ends here. You monster! What are you planning to do with him? <laughs> Only one thing to do with a malfunctioning computer. Cut the circuit and delete all the programs and data that caused the malfunction. Obviously, all data relating to Princess Peach must go as well. Yes, we must be absolutely sure nothing like this ever happens again. No, I am... I am normal. There is no malfunction. Pipe down, Tech. x not. At the same time, press the red buttons on Tech's sides. Got it, sir. Oh, shit. Tech, no! Mail. Sent. Princess Peach. I... I... Lo oh. oh, no! Oh, no! Wow! Deletion complete. Wow, that is kind of fucked up! Tech! <laughs> Too bad, Princess Peach. Tech is no longer with us. No, you inhuman beast. How could you? Princess, Princess Peach, just stop it. This is no time to be worrying about a computer. We have a very important role for you to play now. Yes, very important. No! <laughs> wow. You gave me? I got no crystal stars. I can't find Princess Peach. Twilight Town was... Well, it wasn't exactly glorious. What's going on here? If this keeps up, Mario's gonna steal everything from my grasp. As usual. Your massiveness! We did it! The magic group of scouts found a suspicious in the Grand Chamber. It isn't even on any maps. Yeah, really suspicious. Something must be there. Uh, about time. Well done. This is where it all turns around for me. It did, definitely. The Hammond Rose Battalion is attempting to breach the chamber at the moment. The area is impenetrable. They're scraping, scraping to the nail in here. No problem. Direct me there. I'll pass this through. I'm Bowser, baby. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I should go find Princess Eclair. Give her some cream feeling. <laughs> this is pretty fantastic. that stuff. I fucking did it. I am the fucking best. 
<laughs> I did. Excuse me, do you know where the weight room is? Incredible, Lord Bowser. Nothing stood in your way. You're gonna be my super. Please. No problem. I felt right at home. But where are we now? Gracious me, look! Lord Bowser, on the wall, behind you! Hello? Could it be? Oh yeah, Crystal Star! Vantage Bowser! <laughs> At last, we found one! And now we'll make it ours! <laughs> Phrase Kampf? Ah, who's that? Ha 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 ha! Don't tell me you don't know the famous rock actor! You little punk weevil! You forgot the muffled. You forgot the hugeness? Don't ask me how, but he cleared my secret training facility. Not too shabby. I even imported some super freaks to up the difficulty. You're good. Of course, good don't count for squatting this biz, babe. My champ's belt is mine. <laughs> oh, look. What an adorable little weakling. Hey, fella. Weak? Wait, what? Wait, oh, well, tell me something you ever see a weakling do this? Then, <laughs> ouch! <laughs> ah, now you're sleeping. I knew you were a weak thing. Whoa, the crystal star! Hmm, it it's playing too. Lord Megatron, uh, I mean Bowser. Oh, no, 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 no! Wait, hold the fan. Oh, my dear Lord Bowser, this is just glass. It's flim flam. A fake. What, what are you saying? Use words I know. Uh, you, uh, well, the real one, the great, uh, Gonzalez has it. Uh, oh, my aching hair. Feel the rock. I don't know anybody named Gonzalez. S stop speaking in riddles, you chicken nugget. Good. Who do I have to flatten to get a crystal star? Who? Who? No. Aww. Poor baby. Howdy there, Daldegrith. Um. So, I'm an almost 40 gamer, just wanting to kind of relive some games I'm used to. Play some new ones I missed, you know, get... Just kind of enjoy, enjoy reliving and getting to learn new stuff. Um, I'm playing through Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door right now. I had never played it before, even the GameCube version, so I'm doing that. Uh, I was doing Final Fantasy year where I was playing Final Fantasy 1 through 10 for 2024. Uh, I still plan on doing that. I will be starting Final Fantasy VIII once I beat uh, Paper Mario. And, yeah. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to let me know. Um, I do have a Discord invite up uh, in my chat. Um, I am doing a giveaway on August 31st. Where if you join my Discord and say something in the giveaway tab... Uh, I do a drawing where first place will get a $50 Steam card. Second and third place is going to get a Deadpool Wolverine Best Friends keychain. Uh, which I ship to worldwide. Pay for shipping and everything. So yeah, just let me know. Uh, name's Adolf. Living in Connecticut. My dream is to own a methadone clinic in Guilford, Connecticut when I get older. That's awesome, man. Well, welcome in. I, I appreciate you coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Gonzalez, it must be an email from Princess Peach. Uh, check it out, man. Mario, I know now where I'm being held. I'm on the moon. Yes, the moon moon. You know, the one in the sky. The one that floats out in space. And I've learned something even more horrifying. In order to rescue, resurrect the monster spirit, they need my... Cooter. <laughs> wow. The moon? For real? The princess is up there? Man, that is so cool! But why is her email cut off like that? 
Hang on, you don't think something happened to her? So, uh, why a methadone clinic? Like, do you, um, I mean, I think that's super honorable, super cool. Uh, but, like, do you have family ties to one? Or, like, do you have somebody who had to go to one? Or, yeah. If you don't want to talk about it, that's fine, too. I just, I'm just wondering. <laughs> Mario. Or rather, the great Gonzalez. I realized that I never thanked you for handling my request, so I decided to email you. I never thought for a moment that you, a former champion, would end up taking care of the wrestling trunks for me. After you left here, know what Mush said to me? He said, there are some things that can only be understood by fighting. He's an odd one, Mush. He's actually training now. Yes, he's planning a comeback. You should come by the Glitz Pit if you get some time. You're just the type of star the fans crave, you know? Take care, Jolene. Well, yeah, guess what I found in Rapture's ruins, bro. Yep, a marvelous compass piece. This part of my adventure was actually sort of sad, if you want to know the truth. It was pretty bizarre, bro. Want to know what happened? It's a long story. I wouldn't expect any different. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. After journeying deep into the Grimble Forest, I found the dome to Rapture's ruins. Inside, everything was pure white, like cocaine. You couldn't tell where the floor became walls. Proceeding dead ahead, I found myself in a chamber where a young boy sat. As I approached the boy, someone named Screamy appeared out of nowhere. Screamy said the boy's name was Cranberry and that he'd wake for a child of fate. That didn't make any sense to me, so I started searching quietly for the compass piece. But then it happened, bro. I got a tiny tickle in my nose and I let out a huge sneeze. Well, Cranberry must have heard it, because he opened his eyes right up. He looked at me and smiled, and all of a sudden I could understand his language. Can you believe it? I learned that the boy was the last of an ancient race of the Luffs. He had been there guarding the marvelous compass piece for the last thousand years. He taught me the compass is an item with the power to see into the future. The ancient Luff Empire used the power of the compass to rule much of the world. Because of their greed, they were cursed by the compass and their entire empire collapsed. To prevent a repeat of their fate, Cranberry broke the compass into seven parts. He hid six and kept one, putting himself to sleep until a worthy hero woke in. I was that hero, bro. I gave it, he gave it to me, and then he and the ruins vanished. When I added the piece to the compass, he pointed to the far north, where dreaded heat song tower stands. This time I heard Princess Eclair's voice more clearly than ever before. I will rescue the princess. I will be super, and then I'll, 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 <laughs> well, I'll figure the rest out later. Anyway, I headed back here to Rugport after that. I'm making my final preparations for my final battle now. I'm a little nervous, bro, but that's what I've been up to anyway. Wanna hear about something else? Hell no. You wanna hear what I've been up to? Just come find me. I'll be around. <laughs> I'm Screamy. I wonder what future is plotted for us by he who holds the compass. For I must deliver something. Well, Luigi, you're gonna get your ass kicked. <laughs> on a methadone clinic because I love heroin, but I need it when I'm low on money and don't want food truck. I gotcha. Well, hey, I mean, whatever inspires you, my friend. So, let us go and, up. Uh, let's see if he's got anything cool for some. Yeah, we've got all the hottest new products. Uh. There you go. Yeah, nothing today, sir. There we go. Huh. Ultra Hammer. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. Nice to see you again. Way to find the Ultra Hammer. Now your hammer will have even more attack power. And you can also use a new hammer technique. Let's practice it right away. It's just like the Super Hammer. No, it's no, it's so no problem. B and rotate us. Hey. Cool. There you go. You got it. Are you clear? All good. 
Love heroin so much that I'm willing to suck dick sometimes. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm gay. I'm just love heroin. No, you. I under. I mean, I personally don't understand for for the heroin use, but I mean, twenty bucks, twenty bucks, you know. <laughs> Using your ultra hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. Swing it like normal to break smaller stuff, but use the method I taught you to break bigger things. You can use the Ultra Hammer in battle, too. Uh, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And, and be careful on your quest, okay? Alrighty. So, so now... Let's see what's behind here. Good. Flower point plus badge. Cuckoo. <laughs> hey, I mean. Again, whatever works for you, my friend. So. Okay. Flurry. Three shine sprites is three shine sprites, right? <laughs> to power up more. Sure, we'll do Vivian next. Shizubi. Shizkippy. Well, that's all I have for now, friend. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if you're actually serious about any of this or if you're a troll. And honestly, I haven't banned anybody other than the bots who try to, who try to, you know, sell things. So, I mean, honestly, I'm cool if you just want to hang out and chat and talk about the things you do for heroin or, you know, the things you insert into you. I don't care. So... Gotcha. All right. I mean, best of luck to to the little floaters, I guess. So, like, how does that process work out? Do you like? Oh hell no! Absolutely not. Uh. Do you like go into PetSmart and be like, hey, uh, I need, you know, a dozen gerbils, please? Just one more to go.
the moon. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on my magical map. That's two. Fabulous. You see that, Mario? The last crystal star. It can't be there. Oh, it definitely is. Hey! Eh. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon! The moon? Princess Peach is there too. It just seems wrong on, like, so many levels. Eh, problem here. So does one get to the moon? Got a conundrum. Give me a moment and I'll look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. He's like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Absolutely not. Uh, but hey, chill out. I don't want to slam the band on. So, there is zero chance I'm ever saying it. Zero. So. Uh, look at me, this may make may take a little time, so come back in a bit, all right? What's up, Super Sleuth? I already uncovered my imposter. You're the best, man. Seriously. See, when you get to be as big a star as Zip Toad, these sorts of things happen all the time. It's the biz. But man alive, for no name like you to brave danger and find my imposter reminds me of a younger, yet less successful me. Yeah. So as for me, I'm heading to Toad Town to film my next leading role, the soon-to-be hit film on Golden Toad 2. It'll be huge. I hear you're on an adventure or something, so I'll leave you with a line from my last flick, The Toad Warrior. You're cool, baby, but I'm cooler. Best of luck, the superstar, the real zip toad. Cool. All right, Delta. Thank you for coming in and hanging out. Uh, have a good one. And you take care. And ka -chow. All right. Now, back to the fun. Uh, let's go down to the sewer so we can get the pipeline to uh, poshly, poshly, posh, poshly something. It's the poshliest. Ashley Heights. Yeah, that's right. I knew that. I was testing all of you guys. make a quick statement here just so it's been said okay I'm a very very tolerant person like but goddamn that was going a bit too far so you know it takes a lot for me to want to ban you you're talking about drug use fucking gerbils in your ass you know wanting me to drop n-bombs like hell no and if you don't drop it, you, the ban hammer comes down. So, yeah. Alright, let's see if we can find out 
where we can turn into a boat and go along this little river. How's it going? Okay. Oh. Boom. All right, and yeah, we just just made a circle there, didn't we? Always take more star pieces. Not that I tend to use them very often, it seems. up top for a little bit before I before I uh, try to uh, walk through this or something
Spec shield. Oh, hell yeah. Spec shield requires three, so. Professor Franklin has to be done with his research by now. Let's go check. I didn't even know you were still in here. Alright, that's enough. Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that you might just get you to the man. Let's get a fire out outpost. And you must use a cannon there. I just will blast you. Ah, uh, hello. We're using a cannon to get to the moon? Isn't that like dangerous? I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. The cannons from fire are outposts speak of a device that can launch anything anywhere, even to the moon. Oh, great. Sounds super, really. So, where is this fire outpost anyway? I believe there's a pipe to a fire outpost somewhere beneath Rogue Port. But I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called the Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Well, it's party time then. I already got one of those. Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to a fire outpost then. Get to it. You got it, Professor. Fire up us. Here it come. Oh, yes. One more thing you should be aware of. The bob arms who live there are uh, sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Give that little crystal star. Okay, so I guess I have to find one of those bricks I can smash underground somewhere. Still don't know how to get in those. I don't know.
may have been easier than I thought. Chapter 7. Mario shoots the moon. Ooh, excuse me. That is stupid cold out here. Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. Fire outpost should be just up ahead, I think. Snowcloud that appears at cold arrows. Nine four zero. Swoops down and gives a cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. A cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? And it gets worse. We'll absorb any ice attacks we throw at it. We're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that, maybe. would block that as well. Apparently not. Double burst star points. We'll take that. Take extra XP anytime.
That's a frost prana. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Ten five zero. It's frozen breath attack and freeze us, so try to immobilize it first. We can get fire attacks too, so use them as well. That said, don't even think about using ice attacks. It'll absorb those.
dois. Nailed it. This time. Mario became an A-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowded stage could even be. Cool. HP plus P. Increase your partner's maximum HP by five. Awful lot of badge points to give them just plus five, especially when it monsters tend to attack Mario more. So, far outpost, huh? Wonder where the cannon that shoots to the moon is. Well, let's get started by talking to the villagers. Welcome to Far Outpost. Whoa, that's quite good lip warmer you have got. Okay, and I'll give you my special mustache for your personality analysis, yes? Uh, yeah, yes, yes, mm. yes, yes, I've got it now. Your bushy brim means that you're a stubborn and selfish man. How did I know? I have certain experience with mustaches like that, you see. This is bob -Om Village. To blow me! There is nothing here to blame me! So you can guess from my command, blame me! Is there demeanor? Many bum -ums only open up to other bum -ums. Like. Yeah. Hello, traveler. First time I come here with you, we have us. Hey, baby. What? Fire up post candy? What? Uh, I apologize for that. No, I just had this. Uh, this. Distraction it is nothing. Cavalli! Snow is rare for you. Look at that! You fire up us to fall all year round. I like watching a shine and glow with sunset. Ba -ba -ba! Nice. Calm down, dude. We have the chilly wanderers, the traveling sisters, three. We came to fire up us for the skiing and ice skating. But there's nothing here. It's cold. It's too, too cold. I told you we should have at least checked the guidebook before we came here. Blow it open. I make big sub up today. Maybe I make uh, make him as big as him someday. Come on, Bobby. But I don't want to run the melting gap in me, Pabu. Snowman English snowflakes. Yes, we're oh good. We still get boring, so come chub out, chaboom. Oh, mon zo de la massage. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the end and she kicked me out. See, incredible boy. So, now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. Huh? What you? Make body and mind better? Yes, welcome to the end. Stay one night, it's only 15 coins. You, you like rest? Come back again, yes? Fuses, mobilizes, fire points, and health. Zeus, <laughs> yes, yes, welcome, welcome to the North Winds Mart. We may have many goods. Yeah. Eh, yeah, probably not. But maybe. Yeah. 
And keep on. Fabulous. Steppies. Yeah, thanks for the ad, but no. That's a, the fastest way to ban town you can get. Don't advertise in my room. Don't discriminate. Don't be gross. Looking at that night sky makes me feel vastness of space. Lots of space, boom boom. It's so peaceful, I love them. Rap House is a nice restful place. Rap Lomp! I know nothing, Shimmy! I don't know nothing about a local canning living named Big Bob Shishim! Yes, what business do you have here? What? A canning? No such thing as here. No, that's in here. You're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw Kenny the last time I was here, so then I lie, sir. Shush, you killed yourself a bummer. I spit at you. I know, you know rules. There is to be no mention of Kenny to none, bummums. No mention. You must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course, I know all that, you great blowhard. Oh, we must use that Kenny to get to the moon, old boy. And then we don't, sir. The world won't quit end. Hmm, uh, world could end. Uh, well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because there's certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Gold Bub to use cannon. He's the one who started total blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing his job that he took cannon key and ran off to some settlement far, far away. Good Bob and General White? Yes, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Good Bob and General White. Very well then. We can't give up now, old boy. Mario, the search is on. Let's go find those two bomb arms. Well, once, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Are any of them out here? No? No? Okay. I'm gonna judge harshly if I search where the hell they are. I do not feel like trying to hunt around and hit a bunch of dead ends. I'm trying to find these bomb arms. So, Gold Bob is in Poshley Heights.
general white is in Petalburg. Okay, so. Thank you. I was thinking a while back that I forgot to even prepare myself a drink, so I was like, you know what? I'll just work through it. Yeah. At some point, I'm sure I'll need a bathroom break and I can take care of it then, but hey, what are children for if not to be my slave? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, I don't want to fight you guys right now. I just want to move on. So let's just move on. And we got that other shine sprite, so let's uh, let's upgrade Bulberry. Excuse me. That's all I can do for now, sir. Yeah, I was... So, I figure we're far enough along in the game that I was like, I'm not going to figure this out unless I, you know, start, uh, start looking it up. And sure enough, that's what it does. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so. Yeah. I need to go to Poshley Heights. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this guy. Dear dear Gonzalez, what can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the uh, cannon in Fire Outpost to save the world? Hmm. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I'd have to resume my business with the cannon someday. And eh, just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sure, blame the wife. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so I need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you be would you pay, if I may ask? Uh, nothing. Some for nothing? Ha! Money makes the world spin. You're a bit naive, I'm afraid. Why don't you come back here once you learn a bit of the way of the world? Are <laughs> oh, you back, are you? I thought you might be. Let me ask one more time. How much would you pay to use? 64 coins. 64 coins? Seem to be underestimating the value of my service. Oh, I can't just buy that. Why don't you come back later, huh? And one coin? One coin? Do you mock me? Why do you not just slap me with your shoe and be done? This will not do. No, no. Why don't you come back later with a new attitude? Do I seriously have to give him all my money? <sighs> what? You pay every coin you want? All of them? You, uh, really? So, uh, really? No. So you're not serious, then? Well, I understand. <sighs> Cocksucker! Well, I suppose I'm just pressed here you say that. It's staggered, actually. You know, that means you'll be left with zero coins. Absolutely nothing. You know that. Do you? Yes. I mean, think of it, man. You spent all your coins, and I mean all of them. You certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Yes, I would. But hold on. I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yes. You won't say just kidding later on or some tomfoolery like that? I can really take them all? Really? Yes. Well, alright then. Ouch. Hmm. Well, you've certainly shown me some, sir. So, I get my permission for you to activate the fire outpost again. Oh. I wasn't serious earlier, my dear, dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. Oh. Okay, well, thank you. No, soldier on, my boy. Alright, well, at least you didn't fucking rob me blind. RDM issue 6. Rogue port today. An unknown businessman was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of a volatile red, li red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment and the businessman was subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. By our new hot sauce, folks. Shop for Burger Go. This week we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop on the XS Express, the sales stall. This unique boutique on the exclusive train of the independently wealthy just reeks of money. But perhaps the idyllic landscape's rushing past will loosen your purse strings. Says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come one, come all, be rich or not at all, to our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show him the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Cooking for rookies. This is it, rookies. You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is an advanced level one. Today we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto. Get ready for a gourmet chow tonight. Editor's note. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Oh no, no more. Oh darn. Fucking spam emails, you know, and Mario will go away. Darn. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, and two Paddleberg. that way. Chris is not there anymore. <laughs> I've been playing the Paper Mario the fast in your door, that lady. I wasn't sure, Fritz, but that game is awesome. I just beat it. Every chapter. Totally cool ending. I loved it. So worth the money. Think there will be a signal? If not, I hope they make a Paper Luigi game. Yeah, I bet that'd be awesome too. Oh, is that so? Quick tail is toaster? Hey. Hey. Did you bring something for me? Did I? Oh yeah, he wanted a hot dog, didn't he? Huh? Was that General White? Oh, he was here before, but he said he was taking a trip. And then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. He was just either going there, or not going there. Helpful. Thanks. Thanks, bro. That you've got. Oh. Blah, blah, blah. They're all right? Yeah, he was here uh, until a second ago. He took off right quick. He was going to the city while floats in the sky or something. Uh, I want to chase this fucker down. Come back? I wouldn't even bother, guy. Rockhawk's invincible now. Most people get sad when it's cloudy out, but not me. I'm cloudy every day. If they ever make a movie in my life, it'll be called The Worried Word of Glitzville. Yeah, probably not something to brag about. Solve my trouble. Yeah, probably not. I believed. I believed. I knew you'd come back and tell us. I knew it. Next trip. Nope. Come back and tell us. Urban's been all the Twitter waiting for your return. Well, Mr. Fabulous Moves. 
General Wood? Oh, you must mean that white bomb mom, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree or, or not. Okay. Out of there, game, game, games idea maker, ideas maker. I wasn't sure if that's it, game side as maker or just what, but welcome, welcome in, sir. Your hot dog, dude. Oh, so this is a hot dog. Gonna go right in and try it. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's spicy. Oh, the spiciness is quite interesting. It makes me crave more. Terribly sorry, but could you give me one more hot dog, please? I must have it. I'd appreciate it. Oh, you cock. Ugh. These people. Give them an inch, they take a mile. Give them the tip, they want it all. Two more hot dogs just in case I give him one and then he's like, nah, I want it still want another and body body. Like, did Mr. Hoggle kill his family and serve them? It's like, yes. They're quite bitchy. I mean, delicious. I mouthed off one too many times, and now they're spicy, delicious dogs. Bring me, did you bring me some food? Oh, so happy to eat another one. I devoured immediately. Blah, 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 blah. Spicy, spicy onions. Now, this is spicy. Oh my, this is positively delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. Now, the spice that it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather rude, but I'd love to share that with sweet, sweets and spicy life. That's my new theory. I'm just not good. Could you maybe cook some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. You cock. I'm so very, very hungry. Please, please bring me moose cake. Yeah, yeah. Maybe someday. But that is not today. We got shit to do, people to see, and places to go. So, let's-a go, let's-a go, let's-a go. Dogs. So, shut up. Shut up, phone. Nobody's talking to you. Wow. 
Bon, on va en bas en bas. Oh, that little Pelia? He's always head down squishy squashy. We're scolding from the world's lightest grandma. When will it ever stop? Ah, uh, is always getting in trouble with the other. It's no fun for me. Hey, hey, Mario, can you play with me instead? Uh, not right now. Oh, suck a dick. Looking to the great tree. Eh, General White? Yeah, he's an old palm mom with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. May have said some said he was coming somewhere dark. So I guess to Twilight Town now. Old cute. Okay, how can we make our 40 hour game even longer? I know. Make you go to every place you've been chasing one dude. It's all we can rely on. It even great switches. Wish the Twilight Town will always be so peaceful and never so dim. Oink, 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 oink. Mario was an oink, but Mario was the oink, but okay. Mario was really the oink hero of everything. Oink, oink, oink. Not just uh, oink, uh, g getting that. Huh? General White? Yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white bomb, I'm right? He was here until recently. What? Ready to go? What am I, a secretary? He just looked tired and kept mumbling about a cannon. And now he's back where the cabin is. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Yeah, but... Is this a so-called Greg Gonzalez? <laughs> well, it's me, your worst nightmare. The new and approved rock hawk. Don't think I forgot you, punk. Tuh. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen will blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top and ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock. And still on rainy days, I felt the bruises your hammer of shame left on this bod and I felt the rage again. If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock. Number one, rock hawk. P.S. Tui. Doink, doink. Oh, oh yeah. Motherfucker. Boom. Boom. 
Boom, 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 boom. Big Glitzville hot dog is what I call my penis now. At least it still did the job. Mama car, cause I'm gonna nail it. Get a good night's sleep? Well, good. Now get out. Space food. Oh, you have permission to use cannon. Must mean you met up with Gold Bob. Well, that remains General White. What? Can I find the general? Ah, uh, hmm. The mustache gentleman. Where has he gone to? Oh, where did he go? That makes trouble for us. Is Pipe Cyclone? That is an outstanding movie. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate that thing. Whew! Boy, are they ever. <laughs> so, what to do? Yo, wake up, asshole. 
Seems to be asleep. Wake him? Hell yeah. Oh, I got Basil. Still asleep. An asshole. Good. I got. <laughs> I mean, maybe that'll wake him up. He's still sawing logs. My god, like, am I cr Is he, like, getting all crumpled? F motherfucker! God damn this dude! Maybe get his coffee? Yeah. Yeah. How you doing there, Niji? Okay. I am going to search this because this pisses me off. Says so we just jump on his head until he wakes up. Like, I can't fucking believe this. Ugh. There I will. Yeah. Maybe he'll wake up if I put on Cabin Boy. So then he'll wake up and be like, oh, that's the best movie. It definitely didn't ruin Chris Elliott's career. Chris Elliott's a fucking god. <laughs> a fucking finally. No, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep, as it is all hopeless. What? That mustache? That hat? And that hammer even? What hat? I've been looking everywhere for you! Why? Well, to bring Big Bob back online. Oh, he's gonna bring Big Bob online. <laughs> I haven't lost my life's work. My very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end. And then, the rogue port fortune teller told me. Seek the man with the M on his hat. The one with the hammer and stash. You will fulfill your dreams. Or uh, something like that. What? Only do you say can to help you save the entire world? Hippie Bora! That fortune teller was right. So what are we waiting for? I shall go get Big Bob ready. <laughs> isn't there a... Um, uh, isn't there a dude in uh, Harold and Kumar, Big Bob's Big Dick? I shall get Big Bob ready, so go tell the mayor. I will get the mayonnaise for Big Bob. Now get moving, hot hot. Big Bob is a giant cannon shaft, and I will emphasize shaft. Um, you know, we were the ones who got sore feet looking everywhere for him. Right, I'm switching back to you. Yoshi's fucking awesome. What? General White is back? Then Pig Bob's Grand Revival cannot be far behind. I could just explode with delight. Okay, will you stop talking about exploding at Big Bob's shaft and... Ugh. 
I could just explode with the luck. I ought to shoot you guys to moon. Oh. Fucking seriously. Yeah, we do it, Gonzalez. No, you follow me. Hurry on now. This way, this way. Come on. I want you to enter the tip. Oh, oh it's such a big, enormous shaft. Uh. Yeah, that's hot. No, you stand here. Well, the big statue of the cannon was in the big cannon. Gerald, what? Is Big Bob ready? Oh, leave it to me. Hey, no man, you know the drill. Lord Big Bob. <laughs> Lord Big Bob. Now, positions everyone. This is our. Get it, ha 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 ha, key. Bring that and sit some on that. Hold on, sir. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare Big Bob's detonation sequence. It might be a big, sloppy, messy detonation. Open the outer hatch. You French kiss my xenomorph head and shrunk dead yet? Fuck yeah, I did. Uh, give me one sec. What? You get this motherfucker ready for ya? Get this motherfucker ready for ya? to ship out, but uh, things got busy and things yeah, got too much, but uh, here is my alien head from the new uh, alien Romulus movie, but correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't this kind of look like something? Kind of tastes like something. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. There you go. You can hang out and watch. I, I heard he sprays acid breath. Ugh. <laughs> Open the outer hatch. I will name him Big Bob. And the great part is he's got a handle here too, so you can go all alien versus predator with him too. Just. Open in our shutters. Opening shutters. Oh, three times. Lift Big Bob into a position. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, when I get paid again, I'll definitely get that shipped out to you, because also, uh, I have... Uh, I have one other thing for you, but it's at my side table. Wow, Big Bob is awful big and shafty. <laughs> uh, one second. Pretty sure I also unplugged my headset. Okay. All right, so you may not have my jigsaw head, but you may have what's inside, which I think you'll like. It is a pin from Slotherhouse. 
I know how much you love slots. So, so yeah, you got that coming for you as well. And you entered for uh, for my drawing, right? Because I mean, you might just be getting one of these sort of Steam card too. Oh, sorry. Uh, I will show you again. Uh, so, from the movie Slother House. Uh, yeah. So, and yeah. I'll, I'll open it up and show you. This, I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, like, I've got a whole bunch of them. Uh, yeah. Oh, little sloth hand with, with the blood on the cloth. Yeah, yeah, no, and I, I appreciate you. So yeah, we'll, we'll see if you get it. Uh, I've, uh, I think it might be in the kitchen. I've got a, I've got a bowl that I've written everybody's name down on who's, who's entered. Uh, so yeah, uh, we are going to, um, on the 31st, I am going to do a short stream just so I can do the drawing, um, so that people know I'm not like cheating or rigging it or whatever. You, know, you look in, it's like all of the names say Niji. It's like, ah, oh. <laughs> like, how did that happen? Golly, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen either of them, but I mean, when when we had it in my theater, we got. A box of like 200 pins and nobody wanted them so it's like shit I'll I split them with one of my co-workers so I I had like 50 I think I'm down to like 20 now but yeah a quiet target the moon oh oh yeah direction 65.38 elevation 54.66 range 389 603 I will definitely check it out. It's, yeah. Um, we had it in our theater for one night only, and I think like two people came. And it was like, okay. Wind speed 1.08. Correct direction 3.03. .03. Correct elevation 2.39. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what, though. For you, Niji, um, I think. Let me see if I can find them real quick. Uh, I do have something else for you. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So he is a little hairy and dusty. That's what she said. But you got a little plushy jigsaw for you. He will be coming too. So, uh, that's my alien head, so I won't put him in there. But I will, I will put him with your stuff. Okay. Now hold on, Big Bob's gonna shoot his mayonnaise. Target locked. Now open the chamber hatch. Now everyone in. Oh, they all get in to explode up. Let's try that in here. Bam! Submission bazoom! Close chamber hatch. Got my foot. Boom, boom, it's tied in here. Plum. Getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big Bob Cannon. Big Bob's big dick fires. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so awesome. We'll do the Chris Pratt Mario, you know. Wahoo. 
Let's go. Good luck, Mario. Hey, I'm Mario. I'm also Garfield. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Wow! Oh! <laughs> I see your anus. Wow! Wow! Wow, that was awesome! Man, who knew how adventurers got to do stuff like that? Wow, we're really, truly, no fooling on the moon! Let's rock out, rock out, Gonzalez! Let's find the last crystal star and save Peach! And let's also blow open that fucking rock! Rock Hawk 2! Run away! Yeah. Stopwatch. Can't carry any more items. Oh, sorry, Stopwatch. the defense shell but we'll need to fight this fucker now I have the spike guard on so we should Ugh. penis Oh, I'm gonna give them a big blast. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Almost leveled up. I must escape to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Spies! God, I... You already know how much I fucking adore that man. He is... Oh, he is the fucking best. Who's Spies! Oops, should have held that down. Which is also what she said. Mario is going to the one place not corrupted by Cooperism. Who spies? Dude, that would fucking kick ass. I would fully tune in for that. Yeah. Uh, which reminds me, um, we do need to sit down and play some uh, some killer clowns on stream sometime soon. Uh, I haven't played it since I got management, but uh, like shit, I've barely been on stream since management. But fuck, like. It is. Life is busy as fuck, but it's going good. I love the shooting star on the little string. Jesus. Yeah, I knew there was a lot of Command & Conquer games. Uh, damn, that fuck is fast. Oh. 
I could have had a hammer. Uh, let's see if Quick Hammer hits them at all. Nice. Uh, I am going to switch out actually because I want Gumbella to tattle on him. I played since my transition stuff started kicking in. Uh, the changes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. No, I I definitely understand that. And like, I know we're all like super busy, so yeah, you know, definitely. It sucks that we don't get to hang out as much as we used to, but yeah, you know. Well, we got to make some time. So. That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Six five five. Defense is high as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. You can turn it over with an explosion though its defense goes down to zero. We have the multi hop. Or no? No, I think I unequipped that badge. Yeah, I, I haven't played any of the Command & Conquer since I think that specific Command & Conquer with Tim Curry. As I remember, um... I remember playing that in high school and being like, oh shit, I didn't even know Tim Curry was in this. And, um... I remember there's others, other, there's another actor in that one, too. I mean, like, Tim Curry absolutely steals the show. I just don't remember who the other guy was. Ugh, penis. Yeah, J.K. Simmons it's, is the president. George Takei is the emperor. Uh, Peter Stormare is, of course, a Russian. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, oh. I'll just have her defend. Fuck her. Yeah, eat a dick. Yeah. No more smoke to hide behind. First that time. <laughs> yeah. No, he definitely is. is. Oh yeah, I didn't know Ric Flair was in it, but that's cool. Didn't know, didn't remember Malcolm McDowell. Uh, nice. Um, another game that, um, like, this is going way back. This is going back to, like, Sega CD. Um, 
Wing Commander 3 with Mark Hamill. Like, shit, that game was good. Yeah, um, I mean, so, I mean, the answer is yes. It is, it was a good game. I have fond memories of it. Um, my friend had a Sega CD. I never had one, but I would play it when I'd go over. Um, so, it's very possible that I have nostalgia glasses for it. It may not have been a good game, but I remember enjoying it. Um, which... Um, which brings up another point because I was going to say, yeah, you know, I'll I'll have to play it on stream someday and talking about Sega CD and whatnot. Um, would you like to do a guest stream with me sometime soon? Uh, come October? F do some uh, Night Trap with me? Uh, we got to watch out behind us. Night Trap. Is saying we can have it and we'll have the time of our lives. Night trap. Stupid rock fuckers. Gunch. Yep, Tommy is begging me, begging me to do Corpse Killer on stream all because of that one night. Like, this second Corpse Killer gets mentioned, he's like, yes. Uh, so, maybe. Um, I definitely want to do Night Trap. Night Trap's like my priority. But I want to do Double Switch as well. Get us some Cory Haim. Um, and, um, and yeah, definitely Corpse Killer. Um, and um, I'd love to do Harvester again with you too, honestly. Yep, that one was uh, was double switch. Hi, I'm Eddie, and I'm only like 18 years old yet. I own this hotel for some reason. It's like, do you now? <laughs> that was a bonus because all those games are trick to do House of the Dead as well. Yeah, House of the Dead is so fun. Like fucking stupid as shit, but so fun. Yeah. Um, going way back here, um, I had um, had um, House of the Dead 1 and 2 remake on my Wii, like, way back when. And yeah, like, I remember it being like, you know, you know, you guys are going to die from this zombie attack. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like, were you told to fucking take quaaludes before you came to the fucking recording booth? Like, what the fuck is going on? You will never escape from this. <laughs> from this house of the dead. It's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, feel good, Mushroom. Oh, for when you need to feel good. Come on. 
I'll make you feel good. Alright. Uh, I'm assuming that this is going to be, um... Or, like, this is, like, a, uh, almost like a puzzle, like, trying to figure out where to go on the moon. Uh, sure. Nothing compared to the... Oh, yeah. No, like... Uh, yeah. All of those, like... All of those projects were like, let's get the worst actors possible. But, my god, did they make something memorable because of it. Fucking General Hellman, you know, is the subway ghost and ghost. You know, it's like, you know, oh, I'm never going to let you leave my island. I'm like, uh, you know, you can act sometimes. You know, you don't have to be, you know fucking trash all the time. <laughs> all right. Ooh, I see a city on the moon. On the moon! ka -chow. That's a Z Yux. It's a genetic improvement on the original Yux. Seven four Z. Multi many Z Yux will appear to protect the main unit as you'd expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me out. Doesn't have much HP, but those barriers often protect you from attacks. Well, protect that bitch. Right? The fucking, like, absolutely broken, pixelated JPEG of his face. Like, were you guys trying? Like, at all? Like, look, I understand making a game is probably hard, but, like, were you trying? But, okay. Okay. Now, I had this conversation with a co-worker once. Um, so, you know those shitty cheeseburgers you get out of, like, work vending machines? Um, I want those to be either really good or really bad. Most of the time, they're just eh. But I'm like, it's... Nothing's memorable when it's just eh. I, if it's going to be bad, I want it to be really bad so that I can remember it. So it becomes legendary. And that's how I feel about Corpse Killer. It's like, they went full, full bad. It's like Microwave Massacre. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, I, I want them to embrace the bad. I want them to embrace the bad and make it even worse. And I <laughs> right yeah yeah exactly those Indian gas stations with the the boiled nuts the cheap tinfoil wrapped food like this shit sucks but by god is it fucking amazing too like I don't know what they do to it but Damn, is it good. Hell yeah. We're in business now. Whoa, watch out for that shooting star. It's definitely real. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Rather suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful, eh? Alright. We don't need you anymore, Captain Bobbery. 
Captain Boobery. Who's that dude? Whoa, that's Mario. So, let's get him? Yeah, let's get him, dude. Fabulous. Well, the good news is I wasn't planning on fleeing this fight. So, ciao, ciao. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, that's a thing of fucking beauty. Yeah, yeah, we can skip that. Jump on you. Fuck you. Oh. Well, I guess that did it. Oh. We'll tattle on the next ones. Yeah. Mario, if these ex not dwebs are here, that's totally it. And Princess Peach must be here too, don't you think? And the Crystal Star must be here too. We gotta find it, Mario. Please insert the elevator key. Oh, I'll uh, insert my elevator key. He's like, no, please God, no. Why is it flat? Oh no. <laughs> Guy is a creme de la creme of the X knots. 10, 5, 1. Hell, he has regular attacks as well as boosting his power of size. The late X knots are tough, but you just have to smack away until they go down. Oh, I'll smack it away. Wow, just use drugs in the workplace. This is Florida. All sorts of, you know, drug use and alcohol on, you know, the call center floor. But not, not, not that I know what was happening. Not that I brought, you know, fucking eggnog, <laughs> spiked eggnog onto the floor on Christmas Eve. Nope. A oh, fucking disco party, baby. of this <laughs> by adding hugeness you may feel Greg and like four other people would drink crack and rum with Dr. Pepper on Sundays oh I know they would I do miss Alta they have these fucking wild parties all the time hell Dave was David was like you know what just I'll pretend I didn't see any of this. <laughs> like, you the man.
Sub-level what? Uh, I didn't mean to tell you to. Uh, uh, it was just a few days ago I saw an ad for Kraken Rum coming back and I'm like, oh, I need it. Dabbing on it too, like twice too after he lost his home. He was like, fuck it. Yeah, oh yeah, David. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Um, the access code is. Um, My nuts confirm. Oh, I mean, that access code worked yesterday. I don't know. Somebody must be fiddling with the controls or something. <laughs> He's like, hey, what am I going to do today? <laughs> no, I have. I genuinely hope that uh, David is having a good retirement. As I know that yeah, when I bumped into him, get us under repair. When I bumped into him um, shortly before I moved, uh, um, you know, from Florida to Utah, uh, I was asking him how he was, and he's like, "Yeah, you know, I retired not too long ago." And I'm like, "That's awesome, you know." I hope Retirement's going good for you. And he's like, yeah. And, you know, he seemed a little like he seemed a little depressed because, like, I don't know what he had going on in his life besides work. But like, I hope he's doing okay. I hope he's found found something to make him happy. His David was like top tier, like ass kicker. Being a manager myself, I know, like, being a manager at a movie theater is a lot different than being a manager at a, at a call center, but I'm like, I, I try to, you know, be cool like he was. That's an X-Not patch day. Guys like this invent all the annoying things with fight. 940. He likes to throw biggers of chemicals. Chemicals do all kinds of stuff like making things huge or burning people May also use potions that heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. Next time PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. Oh, so uh, crush his fucking face. Bonk. He's got some huge attack power now. I haven't seen anyone more huge than this, okay? This is the best. Bonk. Bam. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, welcome back to this. Hey, we've been here. Just Princess Peach, though. I have stuff to do, so I'm not coming into work tomorrow. And that's that. Yeah, I wish I could write notes like that. Yo, fucks. 
Shit ain't happening tomorrow. help him anyway. <laughs> Don't worry, it makes him impossible to hit. He'll never, ever get hit after this. Yeah, I'm assuming there's really nothing to do in here. And this new seminar topic, galloping towards an era of risk-free potions. Participation is not voluntary. You motherfuckers will be here or I'll fucking kill you. When leaving the lab, always do your all point inspection in the loudest voice possible. That's fair. Sure hope I didn't just disintegrate myself. Like, oh yeah, Mario, he's not a problem anymore. He walked into the, you know, self-kill tile. Where the heck are we? Wow. I don't know, it's a rug part. That's not is that thing that come here from the moon. Interesting. I mean, when they revealed they were on the moon, I genuinely did wonder how they got back to the moon, but I was like, yeah, you know, it's not really something that needs to be explained. But, you know, Nintendo did what Sega don't. That, that, was, that was the old phrase, right? didn't slap me with like Pokemon confusion where it's like your Pokemon's confused it might damage itself translation your Pokemon is confused it will always hurt itself and if you try it on your enemy it'll never work for them so tough shit fucking deal just like a certain little fucking uh, fucking um, milk tank that I you know used to know now it's just a milk tank that I used to know. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Um, so Gubella has the multi bonk. Oh, yeah, maybe. Okay. Let's just waste that fucker. <laughs> the thing was a fucking demon. I'm pretty sure you sold your soul to the devil to breed that fucker. Should be just like you too. on that. Beep. That's a many Zeox. Lives to protect the Zeox. There can be as many as four. Two, zero. Seems like they want to attack directly. 
However, if you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the Zeox. Using a multiple strike attack to take them all out at once is a totally good idea. I, mean, I respect them for protecting their whatever, but they get no mercy. Perfect and complete nightmare copy of the one gym leaders, but Sarah did that. Yeah. I said that sucker is a fucking demon. Yeah. I know. Shut up. Close to a new level. since I've streamed and done this, so hopefully I don't fuck it up. Shit, that was my pee. The shit was blurry. It took me months. The funny thing is, I was only planning on making you to take on your blastoids, but it's too. Yeah, I know it. I remember that shit. Yeah, I was like, my blastoids is something to be feared. Like, I'm gonna fuck you up. And then, yeah, just Miltank fucking KO'd my entire team. I, I gotta. I gotta respect. I gotta respect that milk tank for that, but goddamn, I'm fucking furious. Uh, let's just keep the health going for now. Turn on the power. Left, right, middle. Do not forget. I suppose I should write this stuff down. Write this down. Write this down. And then left, right, middle. Want to uh, make out a little Goombella? Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. Goombella, oh, my God. Yeah, I don't want to come in here yet. Where were those three buttons? One here. Hell yeah, I did. Look how the 
fucking angry memes for like, hey, kill yourself. We'll all lol. Fight you right now. I don't want to fight you right now. Okay, it must have been upstairs then that those buttons were at. Later. Bye. head but I guess somebody wants to live somebody had to be little Johnny live a lot motherfucker well, at least I still got him I was thinking I was being too lucky. Haha. <laughs> you fucked up too. So it's fine. We're still missing that gear. Yeah. Alright, Nidia, you have a fabulous night yourself. Uh, I'm actually jumping off myself in probably about 10 minutes. Uh, but yeah, we will chat next time, and uh, I'll be in touch soon uh, once uh, I'm getting stuff ready to ship. Let me see where I wrote this down. Zero, one, four, zero, two, nine. Oof, I've got such a good photographic memory. Yes. It's the, it's the game show swap. Robot? Who are you, huh? 
You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine! So what do you say? Challenge is chip. <laughs> you're mine now. For a fucking game show again. And here we go, folks. The main event. The 66 trivia quiz off. Yeah. If you get five correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, run. But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. You don't want to be toast, folks. Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go. Question number one. Exactly what's in here? Uh, elevator key? Elevator key. You sure? Yes. Ah, uh, you're correct. Crap. Well, that was an easy one. You want to do so well on the next one. I guarantee that. Here we go, sir. Now, question number two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting patiently for Goof's return? Goopy Goo. Goo. You sure? Yes. Ah, uh, you're correct. Crap. Well, that was an easy one. Here we go. Goomba, Lava, Bubble, Lava, Bubble, Fuzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have? Total! Fuzzy uh, Beetle's... Let's see. Six? Six feet. You sure about that? Yes. Yeah, because I'm like, the lava bubble doesn't, the beer doesn't, Gimba has two, and the buzz beetle has four. Round question four. It's elementary, for not idiots. Where was the one, the only diamond star? Oh. Uh, partially it was a red one. Glitzville, I think, was the white one? No. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong. You're dumb with the dumb. Remember, three strikes in your app. Fair versus Chimp. champion of the Glitz Pack. Mush. You can see his mushroom, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, you're correct, you jerk. I already got four correct. You're kidding me. Oh, fine. I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. You have a house, sir. Mr. New friend Jessica and Frankie from Rugport Blues on Keel Hard Key. Uh, is there a ring? Ring? You sure? Because you can't get married with that ring. No! Correct. It's five correct answer. Crap, you win. Die! I'm so mad right now, I can hardly see straight. I lose! I lose! Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. <laughs> Red alert key. Cool. <laughs> that goes back up. Sun is the gates. Alrighty, folks. I am going to head back upstairs. And we are going to save and call it a night. Um, I am going to try really, really hard to uh, to be on more. Yes, uh, you know, I still love this and I have a lot of fun. Uh, so, yeah. Again, if you haven't entered my 
drawing, please do so that uh, I can make sure everybody who wants to be there is there. Um, and we will look forward to seeing you all next time. I will, uh, I will announce when that will be on my Discord when I know. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.